So here we have a Renault Kangoo electric van and in this video I'm going to talk about the preconditioning function, what it is and how you use it. So this video is applicable to all Renault Kangoo electric vans from 2011 right through to 2022. So that is the original 22 kilowatt hour vans which had the charge port on the front grille behind a body coloured panel here to the phase two vans which have the charge port at the front uh, under the Renault badge and that is all 22 kilowatt hour vans and 33 kilowatt hour vans as this one is. So these vans even though they are all quite basic and not much equipment in them all Renault Kangoo electric vans have something called preconditioning. So preconditioning is a function that many electric vehicles have and it's a really nice feature. So what it basically does is in the winter it gets the vehicle ready for your drive in the morning and heats up the cabin and if it's particularly cold it will also melt all the ice off the windows and uh, demist them and defrost them. So no more standing outside scraping the ice off the windows and it, as I said it's a very nice feature to have. So you've probably heard that electric vehicles do less range in the winter and that is true and that's purely because the vehicles are less efficient in the winter just like petrol and diesel vehicles are but it's a bit more extreme in an EV because of the heater use. You don't have a combustion engine up front uh, burning fuel and uh, burning petrol and diesel uh, in a combustion engine obviously produces an awful lot of heat. Heat is the byproduct of burning that fuel uh, of course, the other byproduct is those uh, poisonous and toxic gases out your exhaust pipe. But anyway, with a combustion engine vehicle, you've got endless source of heat while you're burning that fuel. In fact, uh, you've got a larger radiator fans and everything. You're trying to get rid of the heat. Usually you've got more heat than you can consume in the cabin. But with an EV, you've got to make the heat because there's no heat source. And you have an electric heater and that uses electricity, which has got to come from your traction battery. So in the winter, you are consuming more electricity because of the heater use. So with an EV, anything you can do to minimise that heater use maximises your winter range. And that's why electric vehicles have this preconditioning function. So they get the vehicle warm before you leave, uh, while the vehicle's still connected to your charger. And also a lot of electric vehicles will have heated seats and heated steering wheels because that's also much more efficient. Those are quite rare in vans because vans are commercial vehicles and they tend to not have all the kit. But with these Renault Kangoos, they do all have the preconditioning function as standard. So let's show you how it works on the Renault Kangoo. So I'm just going to start the vehicle up and when it's got the go light there, that is now running and I can use the buttons on the end of the stalk here and can scroll through the menu system on the dash there and we're looking for the comfort program. There it is there. And at the moment that is set to 8am. So using the buttons on the end of the stalk there, what you do is you set up that time to be the time that you want to leave in the morning, not the time that you want the heating to come on. So for most people, eight o'clock or something near is gonna be about the right sort of time. But if you want to change it, you've obviously got to make sure that the comfort program is displayed there. And then you push and hold the bottom button for five seconds or so. And we should then see the hour flash. There it goes, that's flashing now. And then you can use the top button to change that and because it's in the afternoon I'm going to change that to one o'clock and then you push and hold the bottom button again for five seconds and then it will go to the minutes and then I'm using the top button and I'm going to change that to 50 let me just push and hold what you might find sometimes is these buttons aren't particularly responsive. It's a common issue on the Kangoos that these buttons are pretty poor. And sometimes you have to press them quite a few times or press them quite hard for them to work. So that's now set to 1350 and you can then push the bottom button for it to continue 
or I think probably just leaving it will do the same thing. So we've got a comfort timer set now for 1350. The next thing you want to do is turn your heater around to maximum heat and you'll see there a little clock symbol with a heater next to it. That's the key. When the heater is turned around to that, that is set to precondition. And then you basically turn the vehicle off. And when you do that, you get a message up on the screen to say comfort timer 1415. I've actually just increased the time just off camera because um, I wanted to show you another function. Because actually what it does is that's the time that you want to leave and the preconditioning comes on half an hour before. So you must leave that around on the little clock symbol with the ignition on. If you just get in your van and turn that around and without starting the van it's not going to do anything. So as long as that's on hot before you turn the van off that enables the preconditioning. So the night before you would have put your vehicle on charge and then at some point later on that evening or overnight the vehicle is going to finish charging the traction battery so it's going to charge to 100% and then it's going to turn off and the vehicle's going to sit there dormant until the morning until it's ready to turn on the heating system. So you're going to lock the van and leave it for the night but the key difference here is this is going to wake up in the morning, turn on the heater, melt all the ice off the windows and warm the cabin up all while the vehicle is still locked and safe. But if this was a petrol or diesel vehicle, you would have to have the engine running and therefore you're gonna be producing all these emissions out the back and it's, the engine is least efficient when it's cold. So it's going to be really polluting. And obviously you've got the engine running with the key in the ignition and the doors unlocked. So if you leave it on your drive, you've got that potential of someone stealing it. So I'm going to leave this now for half an hour or so just to test that this peak conditioning comes on and I will show you that. However, we're in the middle of the afternoon here as you saw on that time and it's not particularly cold today. And I just have a sneaky feeling it might not actually work today. Um, because I think on these, if it's not cold enough, it doesn't put the heating on if it thinks that it's not required. Just so it saves energy and obviously saves your electricity. And on these you have this little nipple here on the underside of the door mirror and that's your temperature sensor and i just have a feeling on work i've done on these before if that's uh temperature sensor uh, is detecting the ambient temperature and it's below uh sorry if it's above about 10 degrees i have a feeling the preconditioning doesn't actually come on but we'll test that as well so I've just asked Google what the temperature is here today and it says it's currently 8 degrees but as you can see from my shadow there we're sitting directly in the sun and this is probably a little bit warmer than that and therefore the internal temperature of the cabin is probably going to be warmer even still. So I have a feeling my little demonstration here isn't actually going to work today because it's not cold enough. So it's now quarter past, I've come out here and this heating just hasn't turned on. So a bit of a fail on my part, it's just too warm today to demonstrate the preconditioning, but I can't do anything about the weather. So what you would do in the morning is you would typically unlock the van, release your charge cable and jump in the van. So you would start the van up in the morning and obviously inside it's going to be nice and warm and toasty. And if it's particularly cold and it's a frosty day, then it would have melted the ice off the windows. Um, if it's really icy then maybe it possibly hasn't completely melted it but it will certainly be soft enough that you could swipe the wiper safely without damaging your wiper blades. And if you're just doing a short drive you could probably turn the heating off completely because the cabin's already warm. Or you could maybe just turn the heating down a little bit to preserve energy. But the key thing is it's done all this preconditioning all this cabin heating without losing any of the capacity of the battery pack because the vehicle's been connected to your wall charger it's been using the power the electricity from the house or your commercial premises to do that preconditioning rather than taking it from the track the traction battery so i apologize that it, my demonstration didn't actually work today i see up there on the dash it's currently nine degrees outside uh, but it's much hotter inside the cabin here because obviously the sun is shining through the glass. Um, I assume this has an internal temperature sensor somewhere, 
but it is warm in here so it's doing exactly as designed you wouldn't want this heating to come on when it was too warm you wouldn't want to be wasting energy from your house in the morning using up electricity unnecessarily and get into a van that's really hot and then the first thing you do is put the fan on pull the windows down and blow all that hot air out you would just be wasting money so it's doing as it's designed clearly it's not cold enough today to warrant putting the heating on but it gives you an idea how it works and um we're still in the middle of the winter um, even though it was a particularly warm day today anyway that's it for this video if you found it useful please do click that thumbs up button it really does help do subscribe if you are not and uh, if you want to know more about these Renault Kangoo electric vans I've put a link to a playlist in the video description below where you can see other videos I've made on these vans okay doke I'll see you on the next video the videos I make on this channel are primarily to help others and share knowledge. If you found a video helpful, please show your appreciation by at least clicking the thumbs up button and leaving a comment also helps too, as does subscribing to the channel. All of this is free of charge. I do not use paid memberships or Patreon, which is how most YouTubers earn their money. I only earn from the YouTube ad commissions. But under every video on this channel is a super thanks button. So if you found a video particularly useful or maybe it saved you money or time then please consider a donation using the super thanks button. You could buy me a coffee, a pint or contribute to the running cost of this channel. There's over 1100 videos on this channel now. So please have a browse, use the search and have a look at the playlists.